happy morning students welcome all today we will start our class with an interesting quote if you want to be happy for a lifetime be a gardener yes plants are the beautiful and the most necessary part of our nature plants are essential part of our ecosystem plants are the living organisms that occupy much of the land of planet earth every life on earth is directly or indirectly dependent on plant they provide us food oxygen wood and many more children if you look all around you will find different plants with different types of leaves among the different parts of the plant the leaves are the essential part of the plant leaf is called the kitchen of the plant leaves are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll leaves are the most important part responsible for photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process through which the plant prepare its own food and plants are the only living thing which can mix their own food and provides food for the other living things today we are going to learn about different parts of a leaf children our human body has many parts similarly leaf has different parts the main parts of the leaf are leaf blade leaf stalk and vein let us see each part in detail first we will see about leaf blade the flat part of the leaf is called leaf blade leaf blade also called as lamina l a m i n a lamina some leaves have broad leaf blade and some leaves have narrow leaf blade okay this flat part of the leaf we call it as leaf blade the next part we are going to see is leaf stalk it is a stalk like structure that connects the leaf blade to the stem the stalk is also called as petiole p e t i o l e petiole the next important part we are going to see is vein veins are tube like structure that runs throughout the leaf children you can see the veins here the veins has two parts one is main vein and the other one is side vein the main vein that runs that runs down through the center of the leaf this is called main vein it is also called as midrib m i d mid r i b rib midrib several small veins that arises from the main vein and runs all over the leaf blade these veins are called side veins usually each leaf has one main vein and many side veins children let us see the function of vein vein provides support for the leaf it also transport water and minerals to the different cells of the leaf and also transport the prepared food from the leaf to the stem from there it is carried to the various parts of the plant the next important part we are going to see is stomata stomata are the small tiny openings beneath the surface of the leaf stomata are very tiny pores so that we cannot see by our naked eye we need microscope to view this pores exchange of gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place through stomata so stomata is called as the lungs of the plant children let us do an experiment to find out air is released to stomata children let's do an experiment to find out air is released through stomata now take your bowl pour hot water children take elders guidance while handling this hot water take a fresh leaf from your plant and place it gently on the water children after few minutes we can observe air bubbles emerges from the leaf it shows the leaf contains stomata and it helps in the exchange of gases children let's recall what we learned today we learned about different parts of a leaf they are leaf blade leaf stalk 
main vein, side vein and stomata. Children, I hope you are clear with this topic and please do read this topic in your textbook. We will meet with another topic in next session. Until then, take care. Thank you.